Queen of Peace, hello my loves, marhaba habibati. So I'm Ta Inta I'm here today for um, a foundation review Monday. We haven't done these in a while. Uh, this is exciting. So I have the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Youth, Youth Infusing Makeup, um, broad spectrum SPF. So it's for the one ounce, it's $50. Um, and there's quite a large shade range. Uh, the one that I have is 3N1 Ivory Beige. It's a little bit dark for me. Um, I'm going to insert a clip of me applying it <laughs> this morning. Uh, so it's really, really easy to blend. It's more of like a sheer, it's probably more of a medium to buildable coverage. Um, so I did have to go in with some concealer over the spots that I have um, and cover those up. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> There's that. Uh, if you watched last week or if you watch next week, I can't remember what order these are going to go up in, I talked about this Argan Wear um, BB cream. So th th these are filmed, <laughs> these two videos on the same day. What happened is that uh, I got agitated. <laughs> and so I removed this off my face um, and then I put this on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's great fun. Um, so yeah, it didn't, not good. I, I can't, I can't do it. For more thoughts, I, know I will link the video of this guy down below, but not good. <laughs> uh, this on the other hand is quite lovely. I will say that when I initially apply this one for the first hour or so, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I just felt like it like sort of stuck to all my peach fuzz. Um, and it didn't give me anything magical. What is really amazing about this one is though that I wore it all day long and I've worn it through workouts and it's just so, it stays, it stays put, it stays just as well, like it, it looks just as good um, and it's really great in that way. So the longevity and the wear time on this one is really lovely. It stays nice and matte, I didn't have to blot. Um, it stayed in place, it didn't oxidize and all that kind of good thing. So all the kind of things you want to check off the box it does. The reason I'm not going to like run out right away and get it is because I'm at the point where I have a bunch of different foundations and for me to want to invest in something new, you really have to wow me. Um, this one doesn't wow me. It's missing that extra little kick, um, but it is incredibly lovely in terms of the longevity, uh, the fact that if you have sort of uh, oily to combo skin, it's not going to get oily on you and it's going to wear all day, which I think I already said. Um, but yeah, it's just missing that extra little pow of some something. But if you were curious about it, it's definitely worth the try and worth the sample. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that is that. Um, I'm going to do some points of positivity. Let's chat about it, though. If you guys have tried it, your thoughts and all that kind of good stuff, leave those down in the comment section below. And that is it. It's not a video if I'm not hiccuping. I'm going to do some points of positivity, and I will be done. The first is getting back into Foundation Review Mondays. I've missed these videos. It's fun to be filming them with you guys again. The second is getting to catch up with my brother for a little bit. I haven't talked to him in a while, so it was nice to catch up with him. And the third is a really good uh, mug of hot chocolate that I had this afternoon that made me super, super happy. So that is it for me today. As always, please let me know what's making you guys smile. Thank you for hanging out today. Um, and before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.